The visualization tap, the therapy with energy and process by the Swiss psychologist Vivian Raube de Coppe, it's lesson 22 of the free self-help formation. Here, a self-process, a seventh self-process with an emotion. I imagine you have finished the basic self-help formation with the healing finger game and you've also done the advanced self-help formation with the visualization so you already know how we work and you know me. Let's work now on an emotion, a disagreeable feeling. Maybe you are right now in a very strong emotion you'd like to work on. Maybe just now you feel lonely or frightened or angry or helpless or sad or joyless and you want to work on one of those emotions. Or maybe you want to work on an emotion that you often fall into it. And when you're there, you stay there for one hour, a half a day, and other people don't really understand why you have such a tremendous emotional reaction that they wouldn't have in the same case. And you feel totally not understood. Such a very long-lasting emotion could be what the transactional analysis calls a rubber band to the past. That is, when something in your life unconsciously reminds you of a very hurtful experience in the past. And the emotion stays, but you don't remember that this already was once the emotion you had in the past. Prepare now paper and pens and colors to draw or paint what you see in your self-process. Choose your emotion now. and write it down. If you have such a strong feeling just now, stay in it. If not, remember last time you had it. Remember what happened. Remember how you feel. and what you tell yourself inwardly. Such unspoken words could be like, I'm not loved, I don't belong, I'm not important, no one listens to me, no one wants to be with me. What do you tell yourself inwardly? unconsciously probably. What is the basic message that accompanies that disagreeable feeling you have? Write it down. And where in your body do you feel it? And what is this body sensation like? Describe it.
Does it tingle? Does it stitch? Is it hot or cold? Numb? How is this body sensation? Write it down also. And ask now for higher help. That could be to your higher self, to your soul, to your unconscious, to God, to Jesus, to a saint, to a guide. Who do you want to ask for higher help? And ask the higher help to feel with you your feeling. To feel also the body sensation. Until you get a picture. This picture could be a symbolic picture or this picture could be a memory when you had the same feeling and body sensation a long time ago, maybe as a child. See what comes. See if it is a symbolic picture or if it is a memory. Just take the first one that comes and let the picture become really clear and with colors. Look at it until you see it clearly enough to be able to draw it. And when you see it clearly, come back for a moment and write and draw it. Now put the picture out of your energy field at two meters in front of you. You can also put your drawing if you prefer. See the picture in front of you and when you see it out there, pass the parallel breath through the picture to bring a higher energy into the field of the image. image. To breathe in through your picture in front of you and breathe out through this picture in front of you through many parallel breaths. Breathe in again through this image in front of you and breathe out through many parallel ways to bring a higher energy into the field of your image and while you pass the parallel breath through this image, observe it. Observe if there is any change. And if there is a change, come back and draw the change, draw a new picture.
We want to add now the parallel breaths with the five Chinese elements that you have learned in the healing finger game. For the element earth, you embrace your thumb with lots of love so that the thumb feels loved and knows I'm loved. And look at the picture now in front of you and visualize now how the nourishing earth rays pass through your pictures going up through the picture in front of you at every inspiration this parallel breath goes up through the picture each time more of this nourishing earth goes up through your picture through many parallel ways and nourishes the field of the picture and brings a higher energy to the picture and while this energy goes through the picture observe if there is any change in the picture and when you see change come back and draw the change draw the new picture Embrace the index finger now in a way so that it feels secure. And while you do that, look at the picture in front of you and let the rain pass through the picture in front of you. See how this purifying rain goes through many parallel ways through the whole picture in front of you. See how this rain purifies the picture. And while you're watching the rain pass through your picture, observe it. Observe if there is any change in the picture. And continue until you see a change. And when there is a change, come back to draw the change. Draw the new picture. Embrace also your middle finger and bring him this strength and power and while you hold your finger look at the picture in front of you and let now the universal light beams go through the picture in front of you 
and while the universal light beams go through your picture in many parallel ways, strengthening this field of the picture Observe if there is any change in your picture. And continue with the universal light beams until there is a change. And when you see a change, come back to draw the new picture. Do that also so that the ring finger feels serene. And while you hold your finger, look at the picture in front of you and let the wind pass through the picture in front of you. And while the wind passes through your image, through your picture, through many parallel ways, bringing a higher energy to the field of the picture and go on with the wind until you see a change in your picture. And when you see a change, come back to draw the new picture. And while you do it, bringing warmth and joy to your little finger, look at the picture in front of you. And let now the sunbeams pass through your picture. And while the sunbeams pass through your picture, through many parallel ways, observe the picture. Observe if there is any change and go on passing the sunbeams through your picture, bringing it a higher energy until you can see a change and then come back and draw the change. Which of all these parallel breaths do you like best? Only the parallel breaths or the nurturing earth energy or the rain or the universal light beams or the wind or the sunbeam? Let those go through the picture you like best. And 
while this parallel breath goes through your picture, observe if there is still another change. And when there is another change, come back to draw the new picture that has changed. Do you like the last picture? If you don't like it, leave it outside and continue in the following days to pass the parallel breath. But if you like it, you can integrate it in your whole body. You integrate it first, this new picture, and you put it there where you took out the problem in that body part. Let this picture really penetrate and maybe there are words that accompany the picture. Listen to them and let every cell see the new picture and listen to the new words, the new message. You can bring now this new picture into the whole body. Integrate it first in your head. Let the picture penetrate your brain and your whole head. Let the picture penetrate now your throat. Let every cell of your throat open up to the new picture and the new words. Bring the picture now into your shoulders and your back. Let the picture penetrate every cell so that every cell understands the new message. Bring the new picture in your whole thorax, your belly, and all your organs, the heart, the liver, the stomach, the spleen, the kidneys, the intestines, all the organs and bring the new picture and the message now into your legs and into your feet. And feel now into your body. Which part of your body needs to see this picture once more? And bring it there. So that every cell understands the new message. So that it can manifest in your life soon.
paint the last picture on a big piece of paper and put it somewhere where you see it every day many times so it reminds you that you have to integrate the new picture daily until you notice a change in your daily life. Continue with the visualization tab 23 that you find as usual through my web page www.vivianraube.com English YouTube visualization tab and you click on lesson 23 the underlined. 